Okay, today we're gonna make a beer cheese soup. Super fast and so delicious. And you know what? I think I might even have a little bit too. Why not? Mm. Okay, that's really good. Okay, I've got four strips of bacon going in. Got just a tiny bit of avocado oil in there, just so things don't stick. And the bacon's just gonna give us lots of flavor. And all I wanna do is I just wanted to get this nice and crispy. It'll take about three, four minutes. And then I'm gonna take it out, but I'll leave the bacon drippings in there and then we'll save the bacon to crumble on top of our soup. Okay, just gonna take the bacon out. Just wanna drain some of that bacon grease there. And then we're just gonna finish up our soup. We're gonna add in some butter, some carrots, some celery, some onions, and of course, some cheese and beer, right? Beer cheese soup. Okay, so I cooked the bacon. I've got three tablespoons of unsalted butter going in. And then just gonna let that melt down for a second. And then we're gonna add in, I've got uh, two diced up carrots. And they don't have to be like perfectly chopped or anything like that because I'm gonna blend them. This is a half of a medium onion and one stalk of celery diced up going in. This is so great. I actually have heels on today so I can actually see in my Instant Pot. Thing about being short. If you're short, you gotta just rock it, obviously, because there's nothing you can really do about it. These are just gonna take about four or five minutes. I just wanna kind of soften them up. And I'm gonna add in, this is one and a half tablespoons of ground mustard, quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, going in. Gonna give us good flavor for our soup. All right, so I'm gonna let this cook for a few more minutes. Uh, carrots and onions and celery cooked down a little bit. You can really smell that ground mustard. I love the smell of that. This is one third of a cup of flour. Gonna go in, this is gonna thicken our soup. And then I'm just gonna give it a stir. I'm gonna cook it for about a minute or so. I just wanna cook off that raw flour taste. I love using the Instant Pot because it really just speeds things up. So something that would normally take a couple hours, I can get down into minutes. So it just really makes life so much easier. This is something you can definitely do one night after work. So now I'm gonna add in, this is two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Shire, I don't know how you say all that. And this is three cups of chicken stock. And this is gonna help to, I wanna get all those little bits up off the bottom, some of the little bacon bits, some of the, the butter and the ground mustard, all of that. It's gonna add lots of flavor into our soup. And just be patient. You'll kind of feel everything loosen up on the bottom there. And I just wanna make sure I get everything incorporated. It looks a little messy in there, but it's gonna be so tasty. Now I'm just gonna add in my beer. This is just one 12 ounce can. This is an amber eel. Very good. Cut the small talk and give me a beer. So you want something that you, that you like to drink. Perfect. The cheese is gonna go in later. So I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. We're gonna cover this up. I'm gonna turn this off. Just gonna put our cover on. We're gonna hit pressure cook. And I'm gonna do it for eight minutes. This will take about 10, 15 minutes to come up to pressure. It will go off at eight minutes and then we're gonna quick release it and then we're gonna stir in our cheese, have soup. Okay, so the timer just went off and I'm just gonna want a quick release. What that means is each Instant Pot is a little bit different. This one just has a button that I push down on the top. It's gonna release all, this, all the pressure from inside, all the steam. And then once my pin drops, I know it's safe to open up the top. So the pin is dropped, safe to take the top off. All right, oh, this smells really good. I'm just gonna blend it up. So I have one of these immersion blenders. These are a really good investment. I think they're under $30, you can get them. This way I don't have to take it out and put it into a blender. It just saves me a step. This is really noisy, but I just wanna to try to get this nice and smooth. My cats are scattering right now. They don't like this noise. So I have three cups of shredded cheese. And honestly, this was stuff I just needed to use up. I just put my thing back on saute. That's why it's beeping again. Just wanna keep this warm inside. So I've got a mixture of Gruyere, Gouda, some Swiss, and I even have a little bit of chopped cheddar in there. You can really use anything that you like. You just want it to be a good melty kind of cheese. So going in, I'm just gonna give it all a good stir. Everything gets combined. It smells just amazing. Smells so good. It's got a really nice, like rich caramel color. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is like the moment of truth. Yep. It's my grandson, Charlie here. 
who's really actually way taller than me. I actually just have my heels on today, so I don't know if I'm taller than him or not right now, but I know you like bacon. Oh yeah. All right, so it's going in. All right, you wanna give it a taste and let everybody know what you think? Sure. Okay. That's really good. Yeah, you the like bacon it? helps it you a like lot. The bacon? Yeah. yeah, you get the cheese. Mm -hmm. Can you taste the beer in there? Not really. Okay. Well, the good thing is we know that the beer cooks off, so we're not giving our grandson beer. Well, listen, I hope you enjoy this. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And don't forget to click that bell so you get notified next time our videos come out. All right, enjoy.